Yeah, I think it speaks volumes to the fact that Penridge recognizes not only the importance of STEM, the district certainly does. They've got their STEM special. They've got um, all kinds of wonderful STEM things happening. But I think it speaks to the recognition of the fabrication piece. What we see most often today around the county is that the mobile fab lab really enhances a STEM program, whether you've got the special or not, um, with the fabrication piece. It's not common in elementary school. And so again, our, our main purpose is to get kids excited about digital fabrication, which is not something that um, kids are gonna come home and say, woohoo, digital fabrication. But they might after they've been to the mobile fab lab. So when they come here, they're hands-on, they're doing design work, they're taking something home with them, whether it's a, um, an engraved plaque that has been, come from their design work that we then cut on the laser, um, or it's something that they fabricate with our smaller machines, or, or maybe it's a 3D printed project that they get by the end of the week. It was really cool that like we got to see all the robots and the 3D printer and the laser cutter and we got to draw stuff and then you just print it out on a piece of wood with a laser cutter. It's so cool that you can just take a picture of something and put it into a laser cutter. The dedication of both the Penridge School District and the Bucks County IU is very clear. This is all about the future. Their future. I drew a flower, the flower we were new, known for, some corn, uh, a tree, and a license plate. It was cool that you could just like see that it prints onto the wood without basically using any of your hands. You can, it just does it by itself. It's cooler that we get to do like stuff like draw and look something that we didn't look before, like uh, the new robots that I've never seen before and like the laser printer. And so our goal is always to enhance what kids are already learning about in their regular classroom. So when they come to the Fab Lab, then they're doing the design work to bring that really to life. Our mobile Fab Lab program came to be back in the spring slash summer of 2019, really in response to a community need and a school district need that we were hearing pretty loud and clear, which is that um, more STEM supports were needed, particularly in the areas of digital fabrication and computer science. So think about an artificial heart valve. That design work to design that tiny life-saving piece of technology is done on the laptop. The code has to be done and the, the, the model has to be so precise which takes a lot of skill. That's the career pathway, developing that skill, developing the, that um, technical understanding, whether that's through an engineering degree, whether that's through, um, there's actually a lot of chemical engineering in this field too, in fabrication. So here in the mobile fab lab, we model that really on a kid-friendly level. Like we talk all the time about developmental appropriateness and making content accessible to kids. And that really is what we do here in the mobile fab lab. And that's when I hope they, they remember that word, we fabricated. Um, and so that's how that all works. Here's to hoping these students will blast off their fabrication and STEM careers from this fab lab at Penridge. At Siler Elementary, this is Rams on the Ridge for the Ridge Channel.